next time on Topeka RN. Out of the way! We've got an emergency. Oh, okay, I got a pulse. Good breath in. Back to your hide in no time, okay? Wow, those CPR classes really paid off. All right, little man, we're gonna get you feeling better real soon. Just wanted to let you know that you are my favorite patient. Don't tell anyone that, okay? Topeka RN, Mondays at 6. I'm Cameron. When you were a little kid, did you love to pretend to be a doctor or nurse with a favorite toy or a younger sister as a patient? I know I did. Maybe it was because of dramatic scenes I saw on TV, but I often imagined what it would be like to work in a hospital someday. If a job in healthcare sounds interesting to you, consider nursing, one of the most in-demand jobs in the world. The United States will soon be short 450,000 nurses. Today, we are going to meet a registered nurse who works here at Stormont Vale Health in Topeka. But a hospital is just one of many places where nurses work. Nurses work in every city, state, and nation in the world. This is a high demand career that more kids like you and me need to go into. <laughs> Let's go. I'd like you to meet Marissa, a registered nurse who works in the Spine Center here at Stormont Vale. Marissa, can you tell me about your job here at Stormont Vale? I'm a registered nurse here at Stormont Vale on the Spine Center, which means I take care of patients that are in the hospital recovering from recent injuries or back or neck surgery. With the patient's doctor, I oversee their care while they're in the hospital. That may mean performing medical procedures like putting in an IV, managing the patient's medication to keep their pain under control, making sure the patient is clean and well-fed, looking out for signs of infection or other problems, answering questions for the family and patient, and making sure that they have everything they need as they grow strong enough to go home. Wow, that is a lot of different stuff. What inspired you to become a nurse anyways? Do you used to give your toys and dolls checkups? Sometime. I knew I wanted to be a nurse when I was still in middle school. My mom always told me I had a really big heart and I'm an empathetic person, which means that I understand and I share other people's pain. Growing up, when I went to career fairs and learned about nursing, I always knew this was the field for me. I did more than just pretend to be a nurse. I received my Certified Nursing Assistant Credential, or CNA, when I was in high school. And then I began my first job at a nursing home when I was a senior. I didn't know that high school students could start working as nurses. That's really cool. Yes, being a CNA is a good job for someone who might not have even graduated high school yet. What do CNAs do? CNAs take care of patients' basic needs while they're in the hospital or nursing home. They help patients with everyday activities like eating, getting dressed, or taking a bath. Being a CNA is a great way to figure out if you like working in healthcare. I didn't know there were different types of nurses. What are some others? Oh, there are so many. Some people choose to become patient care technicians in a hospital, like I did when I first came to Stormont Vale. As a PCT, I also learned to operate a lot of medical equipment and was trained to do some medical tasks like removing IVs or get an electrocardiogram or EKG to check a patient for different heart problems. From there, some people go on to become a licensed practical nurse or LPN. LPNs monitor patients' vital signs, manage patient health records, do basic medical treatments, plus they communicate with family members about a patient's progress. What do you do as an RN that is more than what a CNA PCT or LPN can do. And by the way, how do you keep all those letters straight? Yes, there are so many abbreviations in healthcare. It takes a while for anyone to get them all down, so you're doing great. A registered nurse has a college degree in nursing and has passed the RN exam. RNs with a four-year degree are called a BSN RN. They can administer medication, do higher level medical procedures, and can help patients and their families learn how to take care of themselves and to be healthier. So can you show me some more of what you do here in the Spine Center? Yes, but first, you need to look the part. Whew, <laughs> okay. These are actually really comfortable. Looks good, and we can't forget 
Okay. I'm like a pro now. Yep. Now you're ready to do some nursing. All right. Let's go. Marissa took me on the floor and showed me things that all kinds of nurses do to take care of patients. Good morning. My name's Marissa. I'm going to be your nurse today. This is Cameron. He's going to follow me along today and kind of learn what I do. Okay, I'm going to take a listen to you, do your assessment, and we're going to get some vital signs, okay? We checked vitals and helped patients get in and out of bed, like a CNA. I watched her chart a patient's medical record and checked an EKG, like an LPN. And then she showed me how, as an RN, she oversees the other nurses and does medical procedures like putting an IV, which is a big needle that allows medicine and fluids to drip directly into a person's veins. The Spine Center is a very busy place with all kinds of care going on everywhere I looked, but it was super fascinating. I loved getting the chance to see up close what it's like to be a nurse. I hope I can do this type of work someday. I enjoyed seeing what you do here in the Spine Center, but where else have you worked? As I mentioned already, I got my start working at a nursing home taking care of older adults. Next, I worked in an assisted living community helping older people who can still live on their own, but just need some help. How did you go from working at a nursing home to here at Stormont Vale? I started working at Stormont Vale as a PCT before applying to Baker University to get my nursing degree. I was able to use Stormont's tuition reimbursement program to help me pay for going to school. That made it much more affordable for me to earn my bachelor's degree. Then, once I passed my RN exam, I got promoted and started working in the Spine Center. I've worked here ever since. So, let me see if I got this straight. Since you have a bachelor's degree, that means you're a BSN RN? Yes. I can tell you've been listening very closely today. That's because I find all of this super fascinating. I really do think I'd like to become a nurse someday. Is there anything I can start doing now to help me get a head start? Well, I suggest you take as many math and science classes as you can, and be sure you make good grades, because you have to apply for nursing school, and it can be tough to get in. After that, I'd recommend volunteering at your local hospital or job shadowing a nurse, which means finding a place that will let you watch nurses work for a few days to see if this is something you'd really like to do. But more than anything, I'd recommend you find a CNA training class when you're 16. Plus, it's a great job to have as a high school student. You'll get first-hand experience taking care of others, and lots of jobs are usually available. I'll be sure to work a CNA class into my plans. Do you have any other advice for me? I'd just say that nursing is a lot of hard work. Some days are hard. They can be challenging for your body, your mind, and your heart. But the reward is better than any hardships you'll experience. It feels good to know at the end of the day you were able to help someone who really needed you. Nursing offers so many ways to help take care of people. The sky is the limit. I definitely encourage you to go for it. Thank you, Marissa, for teaching me so much about nursing. I loved every minute of it. Thanks also to everyone here at Stormont Vale who showed me around and helped me to see what it might be like to work in a big hospital like this someday. Check out HigherPaths.com to learn more about other high-demand careers in Kansas. Until next time, this is Cameron signing off in Topeka for Cool Careers. Have a great day. Hey, elephant. Hey. <laughs> okay. Y'all ready? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> out of a job on the first day. <laughs> there needs to be a count of how many times I've said got it throughout the days. Okay, thanks, got it, got it, got All it. Right. Got it, thank you. Got it, got it, thanks. Got it, thank you, got it, got it. Okay, got it, got it, got it, thanks. Got it, got it, thank you. Got it, thank you, got it, got it. Oh, we're starting with my line? Oh, sorry. <laughs> got it. <laughs>